Welcome back to the Pick Jimmy Cigar Review. You can call me DJ, and today is Bricktoberfest. But you know, something feels just off. So let's let's fix it real quick. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta remind people who you is. Let's hit him with the Brick House Classic. Habano. The original Brickhouse cigar was a true Cuban puro, named after J.C. Newman's childhood home, a small brick house in their Hungarian village. Eighty years later, it was reborn into the Brickhouse Classic, or Brickhouse Habano, that we know today. This beautifully priced cigar is filled with rich Nicaraguan tobaccos wrapped in a Habano sobiro leaf. This multiple award-winning cigar will surprise you with its quality for its price tag. Now I'd love to tell you more, so grab a drink and a smoke if you got one, and let's get right into the review. So Bricktoberfest, if you don't know, every October, or at least the past couple Octobers, J.C. Newman has tried to take over Oktoberfest with Bricktoberfest. Brickhouse is probably, if not their most popular line, one of their top tier popular lines of cigars. And if you head on over to any of your participating retail locations right now, I'll go ahead and link the description and put it on my Instagram as well. And you purchase seven Brickhouse cigars and you can get the Das Boot promotion. It's a, a Boot Stein. It's, it's, it's this, but 2021's version. See, this package right here, the shirt, the travel humidor, which you can't really see, but if I do this, you definitely can. The bag here. And my mug were all prizes for one of the weekly winners from last year, 2020's Bricktoberfest. You see, in addition to the promotion of buying any seven cigars by Brickhouse that uh, you get a Dos Boots uh, Stein. There's also weekly giveaways, so make sure to check out JC Newbin's Instagram account for full details. I said I'll link it down below. And uh, the contest. Post during the month of October, brick, hashtag Bricktoberfest, showing yourself enjoying a beautiful Brickhouse cigar, uh, the natural, the Connecticut, or the Maduro. And you'll be entered into a contest to win swag. There's four packages, like I said, check it out. They're not paying me, they didn't send me anything. I'm just one of the winners from last year who wants to let people know to participate in Brickhouse and also know that I'm coming for one of the trophies this year as well because I want the next, I want the boot. Do me a favor if you're enjoying this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment anything down below. Like this video, it really helps the videos do well, it helps the channel grow, and it helps support Pick Jimmy. I really appreciate it. You don't know what to comment, comment anything down below. But let me know, have you had the Brickhouse Classic? Have you had the Brickhouse Maduro? Have you had the Connecticut? The double Connecticut, I mean. Which do you prefer, and do you like the standard sizes, or do you prefer the Mighty Mighty? Back to the review. If you're here for the actual video, today we are in fact smoking the Brickhouse Habano. We have smoked the Brickhouse Connecticut, Double Connecticut, and Brickhouse Maduro on this channel. I'm gonna throw both those links up in the corner, iCard, whatever the hell it's called nowadays, and in the description as well. Make sure you check out both of those reviews. Now I have smoked the Maduro and the Double Connecticut far more than the natural. In fact, I think I've only smoked the natural one time, so I'm excited to tell you about this cigar and the fantasticness that is the Brickhouse cigar line. But in order to do that, we need to stop yapping and start smoking. And I'm also gonna change, because I don't like this red shirt. You know, like I've said, I've only smoked this cigar one time, and I believe it was last year during summer outside. Mm, it was before I started the YouTube channel. Very interesting. Digging it so far. So if you don't know, there is the Brickhouse Double Connecticut, which is made with a Connecticut wrapper, uh, a Connecticut shade-grown and a Connecticut, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. 
So shade, then broadleaf, um, double Connecticut, genuine, real Connecticut. Uh, then there's the Maduro, which is the Brazilian Apachipachipachau, um, Brasilia wrapper. And then of course there is the classic here, which is an Ecuadorian Havana seed wrapper with Nicaraguan binder and filler. And it's loaded with peppers and spice and really delicious, but still quite smooth flavors. Smooth, but punchy cigar. You can taste the quality of the tobacco. And what I remember about this cigar is that it hits, and that it hits consistently. Uh, this is one of the most popular cigars by J.C. Newman. I believe that's even stated on their website. And of the Brickhouse line, this is the cheapest. Um, I believe you used to be able to get this cigar for around $5. I paid, I think, $6.30 for a 5x54 Robusto here. And it is not burning the best right away, but I think I had the foot lit half and then not. So I'm going to twirl this for a little bit, but if it doesn't correct itself, go ahead and do a little touch up. But I think it should correct itself. Black pepper through the nose, really nice, good punch of black pepper right through the nose. But it's creamy, it is leathery, but like like I said, creamy leather. Because if you know me, I'm not a fan of leather cigars, but when you pair leather with something, with pepper like this has, with creaminess that this has, a touch of nuttiness, which this has, and a good amount of punch. I mean, this isn't gonna knock you out or anything like that, but you can taste the pepper. You can feel the buildup of like the your toes tapping and you're ready to start dancing. And this cigar, I'm digging it, I'm not gonna lie. When I first smoked this cigar, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, I really love the Brickhouse Double Connecticut. It will always have a special place in my heart uh, because it is the first cigar that I looked up, researched, and then went out and bought. So I had bought cigars before, or I bought them with a friend, but I don't really know what I was doing. The Brickhouse Double Connecticut was the first cigar ever that I'm like, I'm gonna go buy a cigar today, and it's gonna be this cigar. And I remember, so that one, nostalgia alone, I love. The Maduro is um, a very nice Maduro. It's very light, it's the Brazilian wrapper. It's obviously not pronounced Apachipachau, that's a throwback to an older video. I can't think of how to pronounce it, and I'm not gonna remember, so that's the name of it on this channel. Um, but here's the thing you need to know. If everyone, if a cigar you go to smoke says it's a Bra Brazilian Maduro, it's that leaf, so you don't really matter. Like, it doesn't matter. That's the leaf. It's a Brazilian A word, Maduro cigar. It's that leaf. I think the burn's gonna catch up now. But this is delicious. And I'm not just saying that because it's Brichtoberfest. I genuinely remember not liking this cigar when I smoked it the first time. I thought it was boring. I thought it didn't have a lot of flavors, not a lot of punch, but I think this is what it was. I smoked it on a nice hot day in my backyard doing work. So I don't think I really had a pleasant experience while smoking the cigar. I was looking for Battle of the Best Budget Cigars, six bucks. Can't really knock that. I mean, this is fantastic value for six bucks. Loads of flavor. Um, and it's a Havana seed. So it's got that punchiness to it. It's got that spice, you know, digging it, digging it a lot. And be, be a little wary, not wary, but uh, cautious, not cautious, observant, be observant. When you go and buy these cigars, if you were to take this cigar and put it right next to the Brickhouse Double Connecticut, it's pretty hard to distinguish them apart. This one is a little darker and a little redder, but if you didn't have it labeled and like if there were just two cigars sitting next to each other, you wouldn't really know, except the Brickhouse Double Connecticut has a beautiful American flag band on the foot. Why? Because they're genuine Connecticut cigars. Um, so that's a good way to tell. Like I was looking for this cigar specifically at all my local shops and I, no one had them, supposedly. But I think this is what happened. I was calling shops up and going, hey, do you have the Brickhouse Classic or the, the Brickhouse Habano cigar? And they all wouldn't be able to find it. And I finally called this shop that I'd never been to before. And he's like, you know what? I got a box 
and it's a red box. I'm like, okay, that's it. He's like, well, it doesn't say Brick House Habano. It doesn't say Brick House anything on it. It just says Brick House. Well, like, yeah, I was like, well, yeah, that's the classic. The classic is this is Brick House. This is the original line. They took this line and they made it a double Connecticut and they made it a Brazilian, or a, not a, well, yeah, Brazilian and Maduro. Sorry about that. The wife called. She's out um, doing shit because it's the weekend. Fantastic little cigar here. I'm digging it a lot. Uh, I feel like I have wronged myself by not smoking this cigar as much as the other two. Honestly, I, I don't know if it's better than the Double Connecticut, but I think I like this one better than Maduro. I really, really do. Uh, got great construction, just like all Brickhouse cigars does. Just like all Brickhouse cigars do. Uh, fantastic little smoke here. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice, everything nice, a little bit of punchiness to it, some nice leather notes to it, some nice cedar notes to it. It's really, really nice. And I know that's my crutch word, but this cigar is nice. That's what it is right there. It's fantastic. I, I'm digging this cigar. The finish is almost sweet. Like, push it through your nose. And not as almost sweet. It is. It's a sweet almost like a spiced wood. So pleasant. And paired it with a big ass sweet tea. No alcohol. No alcohol in my drinks. Um, Y'all know. If you don't know, try and find the video. You'll know why. As you can see, the facial hair is coming back. It's at that awkward stage where you're like, you should probably shave because you look disheveled. But I'm like, no, digging this cigar. It's got great construction, great flavors. Like I said, around $6. Everything's gotten more expensive, man. Um, and then if you don't know, they're talking about another tobacco tax. There's smarter people than myself talking about it. Not super thick, but decent nose. I'm digging this cigar. I'm gonna keep smoking it down. As you can tell, J.C. Newman makes a hell of a product, and the Brickhouse line is the rule, not the exception. We'll do something fun. But anyway, I'm going to smoke this down to the band. Great cigar so far. Digging it. Loving it. You really can't go wrong with Brickhouse. Like, I'll say that time and time again. There's a reason Brickhouse cigars are so well-loved. They hit. They hit every fucking time. Seen a bit. So, Ash just fell off. It was damn near half the cigar as you can tell it's all over the floor now i was getting ready to shoot a thumbnail and it fell oh well happens what are you gonna do sometimes you get that beautiful choice extra long thumbnail like on uh check out the davidoff nicaragua video uh check out the thumbnail on that one i it was about as long as that so i wanted to show it off to show off the construction of the cigar but it fell i will say this I have realized that um, when I first started smoking cigars, I really didn't love Habano cigars. They just, they weren't my forte. They weren't my flavor profile. I didn't enjoy them a ton. That has changed uh, over the course of smoking as many cigars as I have on my YouTube channel, which isn't like, you know, an amazing amount of cigars, but I've tried so many different cigars, so many different brands, so many different wrapper leaves, so many different makeups that I've really come to enjoy a good quality Habano. One that has some spice to it, some pepper, some kick, some dance. That's going to keep you moving. It's going to burn your nose a little bit. It's going to let you know you're smoking a cigar. It's really good, solid, medium-bodied smoke here with just enough sweetness to keep you interested. And if you pair it with a nice sweet tea, maybe a little bit of extra in this would be good. Or you know be really good with this because there's subtle notes of coffee. It's not a lot, but there's subtle notes of coffee. A nice good cup of coffee would go great with this cigar. I think the CT is better, but for coffee, I mean, I think the, C the CT is like the perfect Brickhouse morning stick, although I've smoked the Brazilian in the morning as well. Really, Brickhouse, they're great anytime cigars, but I love the CT. The CT is going to live close to my heart. I love how thick and chewy the smoke is of that cigar, but the natural here, the Habano, is a great stick. Yeah, nice pepper on the retro, nice sweetness on the retro. Uh, it's good flavors. It's good flavors overall. It's a really great stick. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep saying the same thing over and over again. So I'm trying to think if, I, if there's any like uh, 
a story we can talk about, or anything like that, or we just keep this review nice and short, you know what I mean? Brick House. Ding! Still napping. We good to keep smoking. So I remember uh, October last year, October 2020, when I had first started my YouTube channel, because I started in August 30th, so it was only like a month old, and I saw that JC Newman was doing this contest, and I was like, hey, this is my way to make a splash in the scene, right? I'm just gonna post. Like a madman. And I did, I took a, a Connecticut CT with me, or I, I took a Brickhouse CT with me on a trip, and I went, we went in the woods, I took pictures. I'm doing the same thing now, because I wanna get that boot, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm not cool enough to get uh, uh, the prizes shipped to me. Not there yet, I guess. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. If not, like I said, I'm cool trying to win it. And if I don't win this year, you know what? That's fine. I won once, that's cool. I won once when I was a newbie and I was a nobody. So I didn't get it and there was no favoritism there. There was no, he's a cigar influencer. I was a nobody and I won stuff last year. So you know what? That's good enough for me. But I am trying to win this year again. I, I ain't lying, I ain't lying. If you couldn't tell, the burn pretty much did correct itself. It's slightly wonky, but it's nowhere as near as bad as it was when we first lit up the cigar. So trust your cigars, just rotate them, make sure the fire and the cherry gets heated up and it should correct itself. Don't always touch them up right away. They have a chance to correct themselves. Mine pretty much did. Like I said, the ash was half the damn cigar. Held on strong, great construction on the cigar. It's a beautiful Habano wrapper. Uh, really good flavors. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. It's not a newbie. Don't be if you're if you're new to smoking. Don't be afraid to try this cigar. And if you're an old smoker and you haven't tried Brickhouse line, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You're embarrassing your mama. You're embarrassing your mama. Smoke a Brickhouse. The smoke is thickening up quite a bit as we get to the final third here. I'm enjoying it. I wish the smoke was this thick the whole time. Um, like I said, the CT is, the Connecticut, the Double Connecticut is a nice, thick, chewy smoke. You can make big ass O's with that thing. It's a fun cigar. This is a good cigar too. And I like the Maduro, I like, I like them all. If they were to make, so you know, JC Newman revamped the Perla Del Mar line of cigars, branding wise, uh, about a year or so ago. And uh, they introduced the Corojo wrapper into Perla Del Mar. I wonder if they have any plans to increase the Brickhouse line, cause maybe not a Corojo, uh, but maybe a San Andres or a, um, a Sumatra, the Brickhouse Sumatra, something different maybe, you know? That might be interesting. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke the cigar down. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna nub it. I don't, there's, but really there's not much else to stay and I don't have any stories to tell. It's, um, it's October. I'm smoking this right now, October 2nd. It's the first, I tried going to a, a big like pumpkin festival in Texas yesterday. We bought tickets and the, for whatever reason, the company, by about, about 10 minutes before we were about to leave, canceled for the evening. They said due to extreme weather, we're shutting down and everyone got really pissed because there was no weather. There was no rain, there was no nothing. Days before, it was forecasted it was gonna rain, but the day of, there was like a 6% chance of rain. Nothing. I don't know if everyone called out, I don't know if they got the C word running around and people just didn't wanna show up to work, but it definitely wasn't due to rain. So now they're having to, they're, the good news is they're, they're not, and they're not offering refunds, but they are allowing us to reschedule, which whatever. But for a lot of people, some people are driving from out of state or they're on vacation, they were getting a hotel, which honestly, it, it, the pumpkin nights is not worth driving and getting a hotel. So if you're one of those people in Texas, don't do it. It's fun, I've been there, but it's, it ain't that fun. You know what I mean? So looking forward to doing that. Looking forward to doing some Halloween type shit and holiday things. Um, we're actually gonna go to a pumpkin patch when I'm done smoking this cigar and my family gets back and the kiddo wakes up. Uh, 
Good shit. Let me know in the comments down below. Are y'all doing anything? Do you celebrate Halloween? Do you let your kids celebrate Halloween? Do you dress up as an adult? We have some friends who they, well, the wife always wants to get us all to dress up and we're like, no, nah, that's okay. We're gonna let the kids do it, but we'll smoke a cigar and follow around. You know what I mean? But let me know. Do you dress up? Do you go to parties? Do you still celebrate Halloween? Is it the devil? Do you have to go to a church function? I had to go to a church function growing up. I was allowed to trick or treat for like 15 minutes. Go down my block and come back. And then I always had to go to a hallelujah hoedown. Thinking that would stir the devil off a of Halloween. Kind of an evil, evil holiday. Meh. You're like, well, if you look at the origins of Halloween, bitch, if you look at the origins of Christmas, shut the fuck up. And if you're interested in participating in Bricktoberfest, I encourage you to do so. Take some pictures, smoke a cigar, at the very least, try a brick house, because they're great. Uh, but I got nothing else to say. I got none, I just, there's no point here rambling and talking. I hope you are all having a great a fucking day. I hope you are doing well in life. If you are not, like I said, make sure to wake up every day. And I mean it. I mean it. Wake up every fucking day and say, today is going to be a great day. I woke up today, three hours of sleep, because I was dumb and I... We were out late the night before, and then I stayed up trying to edit a video. But I woke up three hours of sleep. I immediately, immediately went to get up and let my dogs out to go to the bathroom and stepped in dog diarrhea and almost like whoop on my back. I caught myself, so I didn't. But that's how my day started. My day started with stepping in dog shit, and then two seconds later, my daughter came down and said she clogged the toilet. That's how my day started, and I still closed my eyes, and I went, today is going to be a great day. And you know what? Ever since then, it has been. It's, you have to take it by the balls and force it to be a great day sometimes. But you know what? Life is what you make out of it. And you got to keep fighting. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you are having a good day. And if not, know tomorrow will be better. And the next day will be better. And soon, whatever thing is fucking up your day today will be a distant memory. It truly will. It truly will. Even if it's something really, really bad. Um, you will live. You will strive. And you will keep on fighting. I believe in you. Have a great day. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ, and I will see you in the next video. Happy Bricktoberfest, y'all.